Uh, GPSA has been calling for a, a review of the Mining Act for, for a number of years now and uh, uh, the state government uh, has initiated a process around 12 months ago in uh, reviewing the Mining Act. Uh, we've spent a considerable amount of resources in uh, consulting with our uh, grower members and also um, uh, pulling together uh, submissions and uh, we've then gone and uh, lobbied quite a number of uh, politicians to talk about our concerns. Uh, we've encouraged uh, the Department of Premier and Cabinet who are undertaking this review to come and talk to uh, farmers out in, um, out in rural areas. Uh, there was around uh, 55 submissions put in from rural landowners and uh, I don't think, uh, or GPSA doesn't feel that they've been consulted with properly with where these 82 recommendations have come from. We're talking to all sides of, uh, of government to uh, ensure that they're addressing the concerns that landowners have raised with us. Every year we go through a, um, a we survey our grower members to find out what are the key issues uh, for them. For, for every year so far we've had um, uh, uh, supply chain uh, and, and storage costs as, as a key priority uh, and that enabled us to lobby government to actually get the Central Services Commission of SA to undertake the review of the supply chain and that took five years to come about and it was through evidence that we could show that our growers were concerned about this that it, it became a key issue to be followed through on. So the GPSA priority survey can be found on the GPSA website. Uh, we encourage uh, all members and, and uh, grain producers to go there. Uh, there is an added incentive that uh, there's an opportunity to win a $500 fuel voucher there as well. Mm -hmm.